All right. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll start off by just by thanking everyone for uh, coming out today. Extremely excited about the ball, the ball game tomorrow night. Uh, we're, we're already over 10,000 uh, in tickets sold. Hopefully we'll get to 12 or 14. Just it's got the an opportunity to be a, a, a wonderful game, a great environment uh, between two very talented basketball teams. Practice have been great. Uh, you know, we've kept we've kept it the same the same way. Um, you know, two days before a game, we focus uh, sixty percent on ourselves, forty percent on the opponent. Uh, day before, we'll we'll flip that. We'll uh, really work on sixty percent of of what we need, what we think we're going to need to do de defensively. Then forty percent on us and our offensive execution. How big is this game? I mean, you, you, you talk about you know, like one game doesn't make a season, but and of course you got another one coming up next month against UConn. But how big is this game right now with the way this team's going? Well, I, you know, I think it's a. Uh, a pretty big basketball game for the fact of ACC play. Uh, you know, our goal is it is every year is to have a chance to, to, to win the league. And Notre Dame has done a remarkable job the past four years of, of, of winning the league. So for the most part, you, you have to figure out a way to beat them if you want to give yourself a chance to be ACC champion. So, you know, we understand that, but at the same time, you know, if we're fortunate enough to come out and win this game tomorrow, we're still going to have to show up next week and play. You know, nobody's ju 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 just going to hand you a trophy in, in January. So we know that, but we also know the significance of, 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 of this ball game tomorrow night. I know you guys don't shy away from the record or the streak or anything like that, but do you build this with, with the girls as, no, we want to win the ACC, these are the guys we have to take down? Oh, yeah, I mean, we've talked to them about that, yes. I mean, they're quite aware of the success that Notre Dame has had within our league, you know, not just for regular season championships, but conference tur tournament championships. So it it's no secret. It's not like we're, we're hiding behind anything and don't want to bring it up. Uh, but as we've talked about the entire year, we're just more focused on what we need to do. You know, not necessarily who we're playing. We know who, who we're playing, but we also know what we have to do in order to be successful. Well, I, you know, I think it puts us out there nationally. I mean, we we are out there at a national level. There, there, there's no question about it. I mean, just look, just look at our recruiting base. Just look where where we get players from. Um, you know, and I've said it, and I, and I truly mean it. I I hope it's a great game, uh, not just for us, but for women's basketball. I think, you know, we have an opportunity. It's two versus three on ESPN. And we need a good basketball game. We need a high caliber ba basketball game between two very talented teams, which, which we have. Now both of us have to go out there and perform. I thought, you know, our o Ohio State game, we played at the be beginning of the, se the season, was a great game for women's basketball to have on TV. It was big play after big play by big time players. And you're going to have those same types of players in this ball game tomorrow night. You know, we have an opportunity to to really showcase the talent that we have in women's basketball. Their roster has been significantly reduced by knee injuries and such. Is that going to have any effect on your game plan or strategy? No, it's not at all. I mean, they're 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 they're, they're really good. You know, um, you've got a, a starting five that's as good as anybody in the country. You know, where, where they've been hit is their depth, is, you know, someone being able to come in and give somebody a breather. You know, but if I look at it at the beginning of the year, I mean, their, uh, their uh, top players are still playing. And uh, we're, we're aware of that. We know they're 16-1, and one fit whatever they are. I mean, it's not like they've lost eight games, you know, and, and they played a UConn team – and I think they've only lost one player since that UConn game to a knee <laughs> injury, and they're up eight in, in the fourth. So uh, they're very capable. Can you learn anything from that UConn game? No. <laughs> That's something that you can 
glean and say, all right, they did that this successfully. No, I mean, you know year. what? I mean, we're <laughs> – of course, we uh, we look at it. But it, it's not something that you can sit there and say, hey, if we do exactly what they did. Right. You know, because you, you have to look at U- UConn's roster, and they're, they're two, three, and four player all six foot or taller. So when you're switching – Ball screens and doing different things. You're you're you you aren't going from five six to five eight. You know you're going from six foot to six one to six two. So it doesn't matter who's guarding who, because of the size that UConn has. How, how much did that, that Ohio State game reveal to you about this team that that things might be different? And, and of course that's kind of led over into some other rank wins. Well, I think what we we learned from that game was the talent that, that, that we do have. Uh, our players, I thought, handled adversity extremely well. You know, we're up for, for most of the game. It's going back and forth. They take the lead. We come back and tie it. Uh, then it goes o- overtime, and we figure out a way to win an overtime game on, on the road. I, I thought, you know, I was really impressed with how we can ke- kept our composure during that game, and then I've seen that throughout the entire year because we've had a few games. You know, we're, we're down 10 or 11 to Michigan here at home. You know, we go into halftime, make a few adjustments, did not get rattled at all, come out, play extremely well. Uh, it's South Dakota State. You know, g- tough place to play. We're down 12. And just continue to chip away and do what we're supposed to do. So I've been really impressed with how we've handled some adverse situations. Yeah, there, there, there's no question. I, you know, I, I, sure, you'd love to win every game by 30. You know, be able to throw the ball out, get up tw- tw- 25, and then just sit back and relax. But it's, it's not, it's not reality, and that, 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 that's good. I'm, I'm, I'm excited about that because now tomorrow night when adversity hits, it's not going to be the first time that we've seen it. You know, this is not going to be a game. I, I don't believe that either team is just going to roll out here and win by 25. I expect it to be a great ba- ba- basketball game going down to the wire. It's going to be a game, a game of runs. Um, and, you know, who who can make the big play at, at crunch time? What are you working on in terms of keeping this team dialed in for 40 minutes? I mean, there's really not, not, nothing for us to work on. It's just repetition. It's just continuing to do what we've, what we've been doing. Uh, our players understand the significance of this ball game. I'd be hard pressed to think that we're going to be up 20 after the first quarter. Now, I'd, I'd be thrilled with that, but I, I don't expect it to, to happen. So, you know, I'm not, I, I don't foresee any letdown from anyone through, throughout the entire game. Given the way that Asia started the last couple of games in the first quarter, how do you balance giving her the green light in a game like this against Asia? Sure ball moving every good touch and things like that. Uh, she has a green light in every game. I mean, you put the amount uh, amount of work in the gym that that she does. She knows she has the the, the green light, and uh, you know I I think she's done a really good job of when she has it, she attacks. And then if teams are putting two or three on her, if they're really trying trying to shadow her, she's doing a really good job of getting the ball to her teammates too. And our and her teammates are doing a really nice job of putting the ball in the basket. You know, if you want to be a really good basketball team, you've got to have five players that can score. And that, that's one thing that we're continuing to work on, continuing to d- develop. So we have that on the floor at all times. So far on the biggest stage, of she, that's when she's kind of shining the brightest. Is that just something she has, some yeah. ability, you know I mean, or is something you talk? Yeah, yeah she, she was really bad before she came. Uh, you know, we take all, all credit for what she's done. She, nobody recruited her, just an awful player. Uh, no, I, the, big time players love to play in big time games, uh, and that's what tomorrow night is. It's 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 a big time basketball game. The environment's going to be fantastic. Um, I, I, I've always said it. You know, even when we've had our five or six thousand games for this year, we have a very knowledgeable fan base. They know when to cheer. They they're just not there, just watching a basketball game. They're they're engaged. Um, so I'm expecting tomorrow night to, to be that much more exciting, that you're going to have hopefully twelve to 14,000 that are dialed in, and that place could, can, can really get loud, and it's, it's a great environment. How do you keep this team grounded? Everyone's obviously been talking about this game this whole week. 
I mean, how do you make sure that this team stays focused on, hey, just focus on your job? Because that, that's all we talk about. We, we just talk, talk about us, what we have to do. You know, e each player wants to give more. Each player wants to play more. That's what it's all about. Everybody wants to play more. And we just keep ta talking to them. If you want to play more, this is what you have to do. You've got to be dialed in. You've got to stay focused. And you've got to do your job. You know, the, the, the biggest problem, I, I think, not, not just with, with us, but with all, all teams is every once in a while you get players that start to look at somebody else and go, I want to do what they do. Well, you can't. You know, if you don't put the time in to be a great shooter, then you can't expect to be like your teammate who's a great shooter. So we have got them all believing in doing what you do well. If you're a great defender, be a great defender. If you're a rebounder, be a rebounder. You know, focus on what you do well and go out there and give that. Well, it's been great. I mean, and that's one thing that we're challenging our, our bench with right now. I mean, we have to be able to get significant minutes from players coming off the bench. Um, you know, is, is this going to be a game where everybody plays 20 minutes? No. So there is going to be some players that might not play as many as, 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 as they want to play. But part of that comes from you, you, I can't – I'm not going to be able to put all five out there at the same time. You know, so now – I'll substitute one or two, possibly three. They'll go out there four or five minutes, and, and if they produce, they stay more. And then I'll take those back off, put in the three that I replaced, and maybe sub in for the two that did not. So it's not going to be your mass five in, five out. It's going to be more strategic time and score uh, d during the game, making sure we maximize timeouts, uh, maximize subbing. You know, there's – 502 on the clock and it's a dead ball well that's a great opportunity to sub someone out because you're getting that possibly a minute break and then your media timeout which is like eight minutes you know i've never seen timeouts that last so long um so there there's plenty of time to rest for them there's plenty of time to rest and and recover but our 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 bench is going to be a very important part in this game tomorrow night as you've seen the growth of this team you knew what in asia how in your eyes how much is sam and when she's Sam consistently is, I mean, from a basketball coach's side of it, not she's very well close to being the best player on our team. You know, does she score score the points that, that Asia does, Maisha? No. But Sam consistently at the defensive end and all offensive end, and we grade out the film and break down it, she's always grading out the highest. She's in the right spot at the right time. She knows what she's doing. She boxes out. She helps the helper. Everything that possibly a, just a, a general fan might not see, Sam does, and she does it well. She really, she's as good as I've coached at covering up for teammates. She has saved a bunch of them a lot of times from looking bad because she's in the right place at the right time. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate it. We'll have an Asian here in a second. Obviously, I'm here. <laughs> Um, that's a great question. It feels great. It feels great. You know, Coach Walls, I say it all the time. He's a great coach. Um, he knows what he's doing. Um, I have great teammates as well. If my shot is not there, you know, they knock down that shot. So, I mean, it feels really, really good. Does he have to tell you to shoot? Not anymore. <laughs> not anymore, no. Freshman year, he had to tell me to shoot more. But now, sometimes he has to tell me to stop shooting. <laughs> Um, it's not too bad. He just says, you know, get your teammate a shot or anything like that. But, you know, he, he always says um, it's pretty good. It's a good thing when he has to tell his player to stop shooting because that means you're being very aggressive. So it's a good thing. No, I've just been in the gym a lot. Um, my teammates find me on the court. Coach Walls calls some great plays. We know how to play basketball. Um, sometimes we just make great basketball um, plays. So uh, it's not really a set play, but we just know how to play ball. Asia, how big is tomorrow night for this team? It's a huge game for us. Um, Notre Dame's a great team. They're great, uh, well-coached. Um, 
it's a chance for us to go out and play in front of our fans again. Um, it's it's going to be a great game. We're all excited for it. The coaches, staff are very excited for it. So uh, we look forward to it. How do you not get too hyped up for a game that's number two versus number three on ESPN? Right. I mean, you just got to stay with within the game plan. Um, you know, you just got to tell yourself, just calm down. You know, it's another game. But also, then again, it's a huge game. It's two versus three. But, you know, you just got to tell yourself to calm down. You got to give yourself that pep talk like, hey, it's going to be fine. Just go out there and have fun. I believe this is what we came here for, to play against, you know, some of the best, te best teams in the country. So uh, we're excited for it. Right. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Yes. Tell yourself to calm down. You don't want to get too too hyped up because then you might go out there and just stink it up. But um, I've been through that before in high school, especially my first game um, where I played basketball like as a kid. I was so, so excited for my first game and I went out there and just played so bad. So you just got to tell yourself to calm down. It's another game and just have fun. Mm -hmm. um, I believe we gain, each game we gain confidence, but then again, we have to tell ourselves we're not just going to stop here. It's more than just 18 and 0. We're, we have more, you know, team goals that we're trying to get this year. So, um, you know, we, we just take it one game at a time. But, you know, we, we're trying to, you know, put it together, you know, playing for all four quarters and not just one quarter or two quarters. We have yet to do that. Coach Walls. You know, it shows on game film. So that's what we're, you know, trying to do. We don't get too hyped up about, you know, winning 18 games. We're, you know, proud of that, but we have more things to get through. You and Maisha probably, if you were to recognize them, you'd talk a little bit about Sam here. Sam has stepped up her game huge. She comes in huge for us. She does all the hard work, all the small things that doesn't show up on the stat sheet. Um, takes charges, um, gets some boards for us. She sprints the floor well. I mean, almost like a guard. Like, Sam can run, and uh, she's that tough, you know, post player that we need on our team. Um, she doesn't back down from anyone. She doesn't care who you are. She does not back down, and you need a player like that, that that's, you know, on your team that's not going to step down. It'd be huge. Um, I said, you know, I say it all the time. I feel like we have the best fans in the country. I personally feel that way. That's why I came here too. Um, our fans get so loud, and I know they're gonna be loud tomorrow night. Just to be able to play in front of them, you know, you can barely hear what's going on, like on the court. But um, I mean, it's a great feeling. I mean, it's so much fun just playing in front of them. You know, having it loud there. Your family get to come in town as well. So. It's going to be fun. With all the hype around the game, uh, how do you as a junior and Maisha as a senior and the other starters help the younger um, sophomore and Bayhead as a freshman get ready and be hyped up but not uh, get too hyped? Right. Our freshmen are pretty good as far as maturing. Um, they pretty much, you know, they, they learn from each game. Um, I'm pretty sure they know ever since the Georgia Tech game, since the break, they know that each game is super important. Anybody can get beat on any night. So um, I don't think we have too much of that problem. Um, our coaching staff do a great job as well with that, telling them, you know, stay focused, stay tuned in, don't worry about the thing that's going on around on the outside. But um, they're doing a pretty good job as far as that. Defense was key, stopping the ball early, um, just playing hard. We didn't play hard for all four quarters. We played well, but we didn't play hard. So, um, you know, that goes back to what Coach Wallace has been saying, play hard for all four quarters and not just two, not just three, but all four. Tomorrow's game is going to be a game where you have to play hard for all four quarters. It's not going to be a 38-minute game. Even our, my f 
first year here here at home, we didn't play hard for all four quarters. So um, it's going to be a challenge for us. How has the team developed the kind of chemistry? Um, when you mm -hmm. talked about how tough tight the team is, and you said that that translates on the court, but, mm -hmm. but how did it develop? I would say in practice, everybody wants to become better basketball players. And I think when you have that like on a team, it's huge and it's key. Players who want it, you know. Not every player in college basketball wants to become a great player, but when you have players like that on your team, you have something truly special. So it's about their will and their want, and they definitely have that. Good? All right, thank you.